Hello and welcome to more of my trading stuff. In this video I'm going to show you how to install Ctrader on a Mac using Parallels. As you know Ctrader won't natively run on a, a Mac machine so you normally have to use the web-based version and the problem with the web-based version is that you can't load custom indicators and you can't run bots. So to work around this I actually use Ctrader in a Windows environment on Parallels on my Mac and that's what we're going to go through installing. The first thing you need to do is to actually download Parallels from the website and they do have a very handy free trial so you can make sure it works properly on your machine before committing any money to this. So if you click on the download free trial and click on download now as you can see you get a 14 day trial and this has popped into my little downloads folder on the bottom right hand here. I also have my progress indicator up here in Safari so I can see how my download is doing. When that's finished, we simply click on our Parallels DMG file. Double click on the install file. Click on open. It's telling me I'm currently running Parallels, so I'm not going to continue with this installation. But all you need to do is follow through, click on the next and the continue button when prompted. When it's finished installing, it will prompt you to create a new machine. And there's three ways that you can do this. You can get Windows 10 from Microsoft, install Windows or any other operating system from a DVD or image file. So it could be that you've got Windows already on a USB stick or if you've got a Windows PC you can transfer Windows from that PC into a virtual machine on your Mac. But what we're going to do is get Windows 10 from Microsoft. So I'll click on that button there then click on continue. It gives me the option to buy a copy of Windows 10 from the Microsoft Store at this point if I want to, but I'm actually just going to download Windows 10 without doing this to demonstrate it to you, make sure it works. It will then just run and say that my copy of Windows hasn't been activated and I can buy a license key at a later date. And now we have to wait while it's downloading Windows. Windows then carries on with its installation. When the installation's finished, it will tell you and then you can click to continue. It's all installed. I'm now going to close this browser window here. So 
So you can see I've got my Windows desktop. The next thing I need to do is actually download C Trader from IC Markets. So I'm going to use Microsoft Edge for this. And I'll go to www.icmarkets.com. And then I'll log in. So from here I can go to Downloads and I scroll down to C Trader and it's C Trader Desktop that I want to download. So we'll click on download and I'm going to choose to run it from this current location. So it's saying do I want to install the application? So yes I do. I can now log in to C Trader. So I now have C Trader installed on Windows 10. So I can go to the Automate tab and I'll be able to start loading indicators and bots that I've already downloaded. One thing I will say about C Trader is that all of the bots and the indicators are stored in your local documents file. So if we look in Finder, and go to Documents, we've got the C Algo folder. So we can see our sources and we've got our robots, which are all of the, the different bots, and then we've got the indicators. So this is accessible outside of the Windows environment, which means if you're using Time Machine for backup, all of this is backed up. If I also look at my Lisa Beanie home folder, I have a parallels subdirectory and in there I have my virtual machine. So I can see this Windows 10 virtual machine is using 9.42 gigabytes of space. If I want to work with the Windows window maximised, I can go full screen by clicking here. So I now have Windows running full screen on my MacBook. If I want to switch back to the actual Mac environment, I can use a three finger swipe to move back to my Mac desktop. And then three finger swipe the other way goes back to Windows. So I'm going to close C Trader. Yes, I am sure I want to exit the application. I'm going to close all of my tabs in the browser and then I am going to shut down the machine here and this is just the virtual machine that I'm shutting down and now that has gone back to my Windows environment my Parallels machine is all shut down and I could carry on working on my Mac as normal to go back into it I just click on the play button here within the control center for the parallels and it will open up the Windows machine again and from there I can open up C Trader again. That concludes showing how to set up C Trader under Windows on a Mac. I hope you found this useful. I would like to give a shout out to my Patreons who support my coding work and the making of these videos. So if you've liked this video then click on the thumbs up Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and pop any comments in the section below. So thank you for watching and that's all for now.